And the kind of whole concept of the free market model is that no single um, entity becomes too powerful. Because if any single entity becomes too powerful, well, you start to get problems. But in like, and the thing about the, yeah. the corporations and unions and whatnot is that like, when unions make all these demands, like um, mm. we, we want more pay and all this kind of thing, the big corporations are the ones that can actually handle the uh, increase in cost. It's the small businesses that cannot handle it, and like yeah. that's something I can't agree with. So I think like, you know, people need to overwhelmingly find like different approaches to actually like, you know, help everyone in society. Because like, you know, if you, because like, ultimately a lot of the a lot of the aims that that people want and things that sound like like really good things end up helping the corporations more because you're eliminating yeah. the other competition. Do you think the like um, I think it's called restrictions on entry? Do you think um, barriers to entry? Barriers, yeah. yeah. So do you think um, there should be like, as few as possible? Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult. Like say like uh, you know with like broadband in this country or something. I mean like if, unless you got two billion dollars lying around, it's pretty hard to enter the market. So I mean like you know some, sometimes you can you can regulate like like they did here and you know you can bolster competition but at the same time like if you're a telecom you'd be pretty upset if you spent like mm. however many billions of dollars they spent and the next thing you know you've got to share with everyone yeah. but I mean that's why I, I quite like the you know how the, how the government's you know joining up a whole lot of businesses because the capital's not here we're a small country like the, yeah. the money's not there and you know try and come up with some solution where, where it can be. How would you like um, summarise what capitalism is it, it's um well, basically, well, capitalism yeah. is, is what it's, its literal definition is. Mm. Uh, like according to like Milton Friedman in a video yeah. I saw, something along the lines of um, it's, it's just the use of capital. So technically, every single economy, socialist, whatever, is, yeah. is capitalist by that definition. Yeah, I, the definition yeah. we kind of give it is, is more. Um, but yeah. th there is a difference. Uh, I mean, capitalism and free markets generally go hand in hand. It's, it's yeah. one and the same, depending yeah. on how you want to define yeah. it. The fat bankers, but then sometimes we act like fat bankers. I have everything in my house, and you can't have it. I've got the remote control. <laughs> Free plasmas. <laughs> we need to discover and remove the fat banker inside of us. We need to share. We share our hearts, share our soul. Yeah, yeah, cool. We don't live alone. And uh, we really need to step out maybe step out of a comfort zone and speak up if something's not right. When you see it at work, at a business, in a shop, say, hey, this is crap. <laughs> Capitalism creates greed. 
that is that simple. And what we are seeing around the world now is the end of capitalism, the destruction of capitalism. of the people there are that are hugely wealthy and um, it's, it's really it's really just about um, being able to, to to not be not have our system based on greed and that's really if it's built into the system the capitalist system that we have created yep. it's 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 not it is it's just a system about caring it's a system about um, about you know people before profit be it ca capitalism or communism, neither of those are really the Worked. answer. But yeah. I think we need to look at um, alternative ways of, of having a currency um, because the thing that the, the problem with the money at the moment is the fact that it is, it's building Made money out of thin air. Yeah. <laughs> it's dead, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, um, uh, it, it's built on a system that has been changed by uh, lawmakers to benefit the, the wealthy um, and you know has the, has the um, interest built in which is making money out of nothing. The other th what, yeah, who do you think is the 1%? The um, bankers and people who control the money. Well, how would you define just quickly um, the word capitalism? Making money out of poverty. Um, we're told that the, the stock markets are the gambling casinos of the world. Um, you know, at the moment we've got people, the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. You know, we the, the um, people are taxed to pay for all their failures. I mean, that's not right, is it? You know? Well, I think that we have what we have here today is a lot of unity, and that's what this is about. It's about unity. There are all these different groups who normally don't meet each other or stay in their own separate quarters, but there's a lot of unity where people are saying this has got to change. It's got to change so that people are not. <laughs> Exploited. Yeah. We can all agree yeah. that there is a big problem. Yes, yes. And a solution must be found. But we're all looking for a solution and yeah. demanding a change that there are people dying of starvation in a world of plenty. That the surpluses and the wastage that is happening to keep prices up should be distributed to countries who are dying of starvation. It's a bloody crime. Mm. That the people are dying of starvation, have no education and no future when the world is groaning with food. Yeah. Even in New Zealand we dump milk. <laughs> I think it's all of us, you know, the 1% is in all of us and, and that desire to have more than someone else. That is the one percent. I think one percent is more more a state of mind than than a statistic of population. But there is actually a statistic of population which are very rich people, generally not ones that are on the rich list, but ones that are um, uh, supra to that. They're above. They're above being listed, and they're 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 not fully anonymous, but they just they just stay out of the. Uh, um, capitalism is a. It's a system whereby there's a um, it, it's based on a, an endless resource and, and endless growth, and it's it, it's on its knees now, and we're all suffering for it. And, the, and there's probably only the one percent that have any chance of surviving capitalism, and they've got they've got a lot of power over over media and and, and all corporations and such.
Yep. So I was just wondering, uh, what was your name? Don Richards. And what were you here for today? Uh, I'm part of Positive Money New Zealand, which is a campaign to reform the banking system. We are linked to camp, uh, Positive Money UK, uh, which has been around for a few years, and also the American Monetary Institute, which is also out to transform the banking system. Okay, and so your organisation, basically, what can you give us a, just a basic rundown of, of what you're calling for? What, what, sure, what well, currently the, the government only issues 2% of the money that's in circulation. The rest of it's created as debt by the banks. And it's, they essentially, they create it free of interest and free of any sort of charge, but then they charge us interest, and basically they don't actually have the money when they start off with. And we pay them interest on money they never had, then we repay the principal, which they never had in the first place, and the money disappears overseas. So it's totally unsustainable and it's getting worse rather than better. So our campaign is to have the government issue the money, keep the money in circulation within New Zealand, and uh, remove us from the debt burden. Right, sounds really good. Yep. And where can people go to to, to to find out more about who you okay. are and yep. what you do? Positive Money New Zealand is our website. And so that is that .org.nz or uh, .co.nz? Yeah, positivemoney.org.nz. Uh, and we also have a Facebook page, Positive Money NZ. And Where are we? There we go. Reforming the New Zealand banking system, positivemoney.org.nz. Excellent. Okay. Capitalism is a, a mechanism of economy that the primary focus and the main objective is to make profit by any means necessary would be yep. would be my modern definition of capitalism yep it's a it's a an across border economy that is flexible and fluid and it would seem resilient you've got like one percent of the population has like 40 percent of the world's wealth or something crazy and those at the bottom like us uh, mm. basically have have always we see in new zealand 25% of us I think, roughly live below the poverty line um, and that's part of the whole um, monetary system that's been designed by the 1% to, to shift wealth constantly from everyone else to them. So is it uh, evil politicians that are running the whole thing? <laughs> no, politicians are just puppets. Um, you look at America, yeah. politicians don't run America. Um, yeah. America is run by uh, a military um, industrial complex which again is run by that 1%. So is it more maybe banking or...? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. banking is at the heart of it in the sense that the monetary system, this fractional reserve system, which shifts wealth constantly to the top, was designed about 300 years ago, as I understand. Yeah. And the Rothschilds are obviously the, the key people in that, but you've got a, a few others who have kind of jumped in on that bandwagon. Morgans, Schiffs, Warburgs, Rockefellers. Is the, is the UN um, uh, going to save us? The UN's a front for the New World Order. Oh, right. They want to have a have the only army in the world, the only armed army in the world. Yeah. Uh, that's their policy. Um, I mean, even if it wasn't set up that way in the first place, as um, more said, animal farming, you know, power corrupts. Yep. If you see an organisation that's got that much power, then those who want power are going to take it over. Exactly what happened in the US. You know? yeah, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a grassroots organisation, is what you're I think simplicity, capitalism is. Um, an economic system or mm. political system based on pursuit of capital and, and wealth, mm. and generally personal wealth, um, as opposed to common issues as sharing of everything. Um, I, I think as we've seen around the world, neither works in its pure pure form. Mm. Um, in communism, as we saw in Russia and in other countries, there's no incentive for anybody, as mm. in our current state of mentality, to yeah. actually do anything, um, and so nothing is done, whereas in capitalism, People are inspired to do things that are in greed, uh, as the basis of Adam Smith's um, bizarre philosophy. If you pursue yeah. your own greed, then you're going to do what's good for the community. Automatically, I don't believe that for the moment. Um, so it's been suggested that the the ideal would be a blend of, of capitalism and socialism, probably um, 30, 70. Um, however, that's based on our current mentality. I think when people do things because it's something they want to do, mm. uh, that's needed, and that's given for the benefit of, of everyone uh, without greed then why is there a need for any of those things if one changes one's perspective and one's motivation mm. uh, 
then, then you can operate a whole different economic system because you're starting with a different human paradigm. There's the social models around the world, there have been examples of aspects that work, alternative currencies being one of the key ones that has started to liberate people from from basic economic slavery and which are always stomped on by the by the banks. What, what kind of currencies? Local currencies? Oh, yeah, so like the Wara in, uh, in Austria. Um, and you have you know, green dollars and stuff, you have time banking, which is actually interesting in the sense you can't, because it's not a currency, then banks can't actually do anything about it. Which is good, but where, everywhere there's been alternative currencies around the world, as soon as they've got to somewhere, the banks have jumped in and tried to stomp on them. Yep. I mean, people are talking about alternative currencies, and yeah. so we've mentioned a couple. Um, and the reason those people are suggesting that is because the current economic system is going to collapse, so you need to be able to create the means of trade between people without dependence on, on that financial system. So um, adopting local currencies and time banking, which is a variation of that, would be a way of continuing to be able to provide for yourself and, and others in an economic system that, that would survive, continue, regardless of the corrupt banking and financial monetary system we have now.